Cole and the boy are the stupid bastards, they are acting too stupid and they are being weirdos a lot. They should at least eat some pills and eat a couple of medicine and they need to shut up right now. Alright, time for me to give something good to call on a boiler. Alright, call on a boiler, this is your gifts. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the kitchen. Call an abuela, I'm coming for you too so I can destroy and smash everywhere. <laughs> okay, it's time for me to go upstairs to me and cause room so I can start messing around the bedroom. Okay Cole, I'm ready to destroy our bedroom, so please keep whining, don't break. <laughs> Cole, this is my revenge so you can clean up everywhere that I messed up. You can whine all you want, but that's my choice. Now take this, this is why nobody doesn't want to trust you. I hope you will waste your time, Cole. I wonder what something new on Cole's useless phone. Okay, now that I am home, I will check on Elena and say if she's still at home or not. Whoa, what on earth just happened to the living room? Here we go again. Another messed up in our house. What is Elena up to? He better not say her destroying war machine something. Was dang. I don't get on why I have to waste my time. Ooh. Well, I do not see any new events on Cole's phone or neither mine because I have to update. Well, that's a sad luck. I wish I have good events on my notifications. But whatever anyways, time for me to get the heck out of here right now before. Crap. Cole, how on earth did you get here? Like did you get in the house, huh? And, are you gonna clean the house up after I made the huge mess? Okay Elena, we might gonna have a talk later when Abuela gets back. She might gonna know when he tell her about this. Oh come on, why does Cole have to be such a degenerate? He always acts stupid, a lot. Abuela, can you please get up to Elena, while I go downstairs to clean up the mess that Elena made? Elena, I think it's time for you to stop with a lot of smashing things, because Cole and I are sick and tired of it. Well Abuela, I don't know, but can't you let me keep going so I can mess anything around? Seriously Elena, I don't want you and the rest of us wasting our time on things we don't want to do. Great, every time Elena does a lot of messy things, I have to clean up because she is so lazy a lot. Oh come on. You do not have enough time, but I guess I have to answer the phone right now. Ugh, whatever. But I don't want to see that happen ever again. Right now, you have to clean up yourself, so you'll have to do this on your own. Are great, guess that I'm gonna clean up the entire room area, stupid Elena, very stupid. Screw call anyway, I'll just put the hammock back in the closet. So hello there, is there anything you want to tell me? Yes, are you going to let us donate you for clothing store? I just wanna know. Oh no, we don't have any donations at all, sorry, but we don't donate. Oh, okay, that's alright, anyways, if you need anything. Call us for help. Anyways, have a good day, sir. You too, and please take care. Right now, I have to clean up the living room already. Okay finally, at least that I cleaned up the bedroom of me and calls. But, I'm bored right now, I think I'll go and watch something on the internet, again. A guy who is going on a camp trip by driving the camping truck? Hey J man, I never heard of that before, but I'll watch it. What's up people? 
I am, Simon. Okay, and today, I'm going on a trip to the public camp. And you may know, why am I going to there? That's because I have vacation. Now I'm gonna show you everyone on how I am going on a trip to the public camp for myself. As you can see, this is my camping truck, it's for going on a camping trip only, or other vacation places I wanted to go. No way! I never had the camping truck before, like seriously, that is cool and sick. Like seriously, holy cow. That is rich and expensive. So you people wanted to see what's inside the camping truck? Okay, I will bring my camera to there, so I will show you what's inside. Oh wow. I don't have the camping truck, but I'll just get one someday. As you can see right here, this is my camping truck, which you know, it's inside with drawers near the areas in there. Oh, you can also see there is a table there. And also with seats since you can eat here. There is something that blocked the window outside. There is an exit sign right here in case of emergency. Ah yes, there is the stove here, and there is the oven down there since it's useful for me to cook or oven any food that I want to eat. Okay, there is the sink, but however, if you want to open the sink, then you have to find a way to open it so you can wash something carefully. Okay, looks like there is a bed right here. You could take a nap if you were tired or sleepy. Oh wow. I've never seen this place before, but hey. At least that I can get it someday. Anyways, that's all. And if you would like to see my review stuff, go ahead and please subscribe if you can. And hit the bell for the notifications. Perfect. This camping truck that I really wanted, so I have to check to see how much is it. Alright, I wonder how much money does it take me to pay for the camping truck. Wait, what the hell? What did I saw when I checked the price? What the actual hell is this? It costs $76,000. What the heck, that's too much and that's too expensive. You know what, freak it, I am not gonna pay it because I don't have a lot of money to afford this crap. How come this camping truck supposed to cost way too expensive? Like seriously? I hate it when the prices cost too expensive. You know, I need to find some way for me to do something instead of destroying the house a lot. Okay, first off, I should leave the house so I can find someone's camping truck, but it's difficult for me to do. Ha. Huh. I've found it. I'm going outside towards the neighbor's houses, then I will find someone's camping truck to steal something. Oh wait. I think I need to be cautious since I don't want Ko to find out. But whatever, I guess it's time to leave, before Ko sees me leaving the house. Alright, I better just get out. Cause the coast was clear. Okay, time to find the camping truck so I can steal it. Alright, now that I managed to put all of my stuff in the camping truck, it's time for me to drive to the public camp areas. Yo, is that a camping truck that owned by someone? Perfect. I found it, now the only way for me is to... Stealing someone's camping truck by knocking someone's truck door, and then kick the owner out of the camping truck so I can do something. And I'm gonna run people with the camping truck so I could kill and torture them. This is going to be more fun than ever. Hey you stupid freak who owns the camping truck, open the door right now you fool. What are you doing? You were not supposed to be in someone's camping truck like that. Stupid driver, you should get the heck out of here right now you dummy. And you are not allowed to drive on your own stupid camping truck, cause I am going to take over, now deal with it, dummy.
Wait. All of my stuff are in my camping truck, and some fool just decide to act like an idiot. Okay, that's it. Time for me to call the police on this idiotic fool. I'm gonna wish that this joker's gonna pay the price it when she gets arrested. There we go. Now that I stole someone's camping truck, time for me to run into the people so I could kill them and torture them. And therefore, everyone is going to be shocked if there is a truck going aggressive by crashing into places and such. Now it's time to do it now. Yes, and some lady decided to drove away after stealing and taking my camping truck away. Could you please go after it? My camping truck's color is mostly white and gray. Everyone. I need to warn you all right now. Um, someone in the camping truck is gonna crash into this place to torture anyone. I'm not joking, I'm dead serious. Please run. Sir? What are you talking about? The camping truck is gonna ram into us. Camping truck is gonna ram into us, so we gotta run and try to sprint as fast as we can. She got rammed by the camping truck. Oh no, I gotta get out of here before something happens. Oh crap, I think we have to get out of here quick before the camping truck. Oh my god. What on earth just happened to the fountain place? Oh no. It seems that those few people got rammed into it and got killed. I felt really bad for them, ouch, and plus, I have to get out of here before the camping truck runs into me. Oh yelly. This is so much fun. Ah, at least I get to take deep breaths at outside. It's kind of fresh and the air quality is fine. Another one down, looks like it's time for me to kill some of them, and I will crush it into the building. I cannot wait to see people's reactions when I run into them with the camping truck. Guys, you all should run and try not to get ram into the camping truck. Someone inside the camping truck has gone too aggressive by ramming into people to kill them. Wait, really? What the? I oh know, those two people got killed. Shoot, I better call the emergency for help. Oh crap. I have to get out of here quick. I don't want to get ram into something. Haha. Ha. Another two of those idiots got rammed into me, and I'm glad that I did a good job on ramming into two people. Now the only way for me to do is, um, I think I know. Ramming into another person and another additional person, and then crash them into the building to kill them. That way, they won't dodge the camping truck. Oh, I cannot wait when these two are gonna get rammed. Okay, sounds like the bus haven't arrived here in 10 minutes. Gosh, what on earth is taking the bus so long? You know, I hate to wait until the crappy bus gets here. Alright, now that I'm off from work, time to go home while I'm waiting for the bus to arrive. What, what the hell? Did someone just ram me? Wait, hold on, is that two people I rammed into? Oh dear, I think they are not going to be happy after all. Just, uh oh. Hey, what are you doing, madam? Are you insane by ramming the two of us with that camping truck? You're going aggressive. You need to pull over the camping truck right now now now. And don't try to kill us you bastard. Pull over right now. You will be arrested and face life in prison if you kill us with that camping truck. Well guess what? I don't give a crap about what you two are saying. You two should get rammed and killed permanently. Now quiet. Also, look behind you too. There is a building that I'm gonna crash into. Wait, madam who is wearing colored hoodie, I need you to look behind you. I think we are screwed. Wait, sir, I don't know if we are screwed or not, but we will check and see. Wait, hold the heck up. 
What was that in the distance? Oh head no no no. It's gonna kill us when she crashed us into the building. I don't wanna lose my life. Oh no. I'm not gonna get killed. Please help. Too bad you two. You two will be killed as long as you two won't be idiots by getting off of the camping truck while I'm riding. Please stop it stop it stop it right now 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 now. We don't want you to crash the two of us into the pull building. Over the please car don't right kill now. us please pull, pull over, over pull over pull we over the car right now now, right now 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 now. Hey you totally please look behind you too. There's a building. Oh no. Matt, I think this is the end of us. Oh no. Please. I don't want to lose myself. No. No. No 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 no. Oh my god yeri 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 yeri. I did it. I'm super glad that those idiots got rammed and killed by me. Hopefully, I won't get arrested for that. Hold on a minute. What was that sound? Oh, I'm thinking that I'm in big trouble right now, just no. Stop right there. You're not going anywhere. Well crap, I'm screwed right now, oh shoot. And don't forget about me, you're busted, and you cannot run anymore. Ah oh, crap, I'm screwed now. Like how on earth did the police cars find me here? Silence. You have caused enough damage to the public streets. So, please tell us the truth right away, or else we will taser you for good. But, no. If the police officers find out, well, I'm now screwed once again, so I have to tell that truth, right now. Here's the truth. I have caused people to get rammed or killed by me since I stole someone's camping truck to kill people by ramming them. And it was all of my actions. Please don't tester me, I'm telling the truth on myself, okay? Well, at least you tell us the truth, but what you did right now is very messed up and very unforgivable. No. No. My camping truck has been destroyed and crashed. No. Now I can't go to any public camps anymore. And you madam, it's all your fault for stealing and taking away my camping truck. You blew it. Madam, I think we will send you to court so the judge will know what you did. Alright, court has now been session. Today, we will be talking about what Elena, aka, Mrs. Marquez, has done something horrible. We will let anyone tell everyone in the courthouse about the whole incident. Well, if you all may wonder, what was she's doing? Well, I will tell you everyone about her truth. When I decide to go on my trip to the public camp, I am ready to go, but suddenly, she literally tell me to open the truck door, then she kicked me out of the camping truck. She stole it and take away my camping truck when I put my stuff in there, and she was about to cause chaos by going very aggressive and insane. Like seriously. So I have to call the police department and ask them my camping truck's color, and told them to investigate it. And they are now on their way to chase after my stolen truck. Until then, I found my own camping truck that was crashed and destroyed by this person who was responsible for this. Now judge. Tell me about what Elena, or I can say Mrs. Marcus has done before I found my own camping truck. Now now, before I begin to discuss about Elena's awful actions, Elena, are you plead innocent, or guilty? Okay, I plead innocent, not guilty. Please don't send me to prison for lifetime. Well, I think Elena is making excuses. So I will tell you all about her awful behavior that should not be trusted permanently. Elena has become psycho by ramming and killing people with the camping truck that she stole, and she literally killed those people, and she crashed it into the building. And Elena, what you have done right now is very unforgivable. You have become the most degenerate and the most psychopath I ever seen. You did a lot of damage, and because you killed people by ramming them with a camping truck, you will face life in prison forever. Which means that you have no chances to escape. And everyone, do you think that Elena is guilty for all of the killing and sabotage stuff she has caused? I say she is guilty, 
Like how is she's innocent when she literally killed people by ramming them with the camping truck? I'm gonna say that Elena is guilty. She is such an awful and menace person I've met. Of course Elena is guilty. I've so been known that Elena has gone insane by becoming the most menacing the most psychopaths. Alright, it seems that everyone agreed that Elena is confirmed guilty. So Elena will face life in prison, like I said. Police cop, please put her in prison so she won't get out. On it, sir. Elena, you are coming with me to the police department. You will never escape, ever. Alright everyone, court adjourned. You all may now leave the court. <laughs> All right, Elena, this is your prison cell. There are no windows in this cell. This means that you should stay here for life in prison. Now, if we caught you escaping again, well, you will be facing execution. Anyways, have fun staying there in prison, you scum. Oh, come on. Why do I have to suffer? This means that it's the end of me, bug. I'm gonna regret it when I left the world. Why are you calling the boiler?